Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn about how to resolve an error, Sage 50 not responding. Hi, I'm Alina. I will walk you through this training. If you are receiving the error Sage 50 cannot be started, then it is most probably due to non-functioning of the pervasive PSQL service not working. When Sage 50 is installed on a system, the pervasive PSQL service is also installed. This application runs in the background as a window service to manage a company database. When Pervasive is not running in the background, Sage 50 will not start. To fix this error, you will need to troubleshoot the Pervasive service drives. The most common solution is to reboot your system. This works when the Pervasive service crashes due to any Windows update, thus rebooting often helps. If you're working on server, you might need to reboot the server itself. Check the mapping of the network data and make sure it is active. If the map drive is not available, the Sage 50 will not initiate. If rebooting does not help, press Ctrl plus R. In the Run Command window, in the Run command window, type services.msc. Click OK. This will open the Services panel. In the list of services, locate PSQL Workgroup Engine. Right-click on it and select Restart. In case Restart is disabled, select Start. Check the status of the service. It should be running. Now, to further ensure that it does not stop again, right-click and select Properties. Select the Recovery tab. Select Restart the service in the first failure and second failure. Set the reset fail count. Click Apply and OK. In case you still receive errors, continue to the next steps. In this case, you will need to reinstall Pervasive PSQL back into the system. The easiest way to do so without completely reinstalling Sage 50 is with the Sage 50 database repair utility. Go to Windows, then go to Sage 50, select Sage 50 Accounting, then Sage 50 Resources and Help, and then Technical Support and Utilities. Now select Sage 50 Database Repair Utility. Your web browser will display Sage Support window. Click the Download Now. Now install the Database Repair Utility. It will give you three options. Remove, Install, and Create a New Local Data Path. Select the options that most suits you. Often it is the third-party software and firewalls that cause a lot of trouble in Sage 50 initiation. Software like Zone Alarm, Symantec, and Webroot Secure Anywhere should be made aware of the files that Sage 50 installs and allow them to run unrestricted, including pervasive PSQL. You might need to remove the blocked link of any Sage 50 file in your firewall. Whenever you are done with all or some of the steps that we have shown you, please reboot your system to initialize the Sage pervasive PSQL. Now, try again. Hope you like our video on Sage 50 error. For more specialized assistance, please contact us. Happy accounting!